Hi, I'm Tiffany Windsor. Have you noticed that everything floral is very fashionable these days? Let's take a pair of girls' canvas shoes and an old t-shirt and have some floral fashion fun. For this project, I am using my Aline's Peel and Stick Tape. This is going to make this project glue together very quickly. It's no so permanent and washable. The first step is to cut your fabric into strips. You can use t-shirts, you can use cotton quilting fabric, you can use cheesecloth. Start with a white fabric, preferably 100% cotton, and cut it into strips. The next step is to cut those strips into squares. And the last step is to run those squares through your die cutting machine. I have a very small flower pattern and you're going to cut lots and lots of flowers. You could also do the same technique if you buy hydrangea silk flowers at the craft store and pull them apart. Now that I have all of my flowers die cut, I'm going to use my Aline's Peel and Stick Tape to glue two layers together. Just cut a thin strip, press it onto your first petal, and glue together two layers. Now that I have all of my flower petals cut and glued together, I'm ready to color them. You can use a tie-dye effect, you can use a fabric spray to just spray your color right onto your flowers. I want an ombre effect, so I'm going to overlap colors for the different rows. Color all of your petals. I wanted to show you that I put a piece of white fabric down before I started spraying, so now I have a really cool piece of fabric to use on another craft project. Let's go ahead and start gluing. When you're gluing your flowers in place, be sure and tuck them close together so you get a lot of fullness to each of the flowers. Tuck them right in next to each other. You could stop here if you just want the toes covered in flowers. Or you can cover the entire toe. Or you can decorate from heel to toe. The Aline's Fabric Fusion Peel and Stick Tape is available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.